I got all these carrots here. Wait yeah. till our guest comes in. I'm gonna put them on my head and go look. A carrot hat. Fucking place is gonna go nuts. He'll laugh hysterically. You got it. Hysterically too. Let's not be Hurst, gender biased. Well, of course, gender biased. <laughs> He's, uh, yeah, I guess he's coming up. I didn't know he was here in the past. Did you talk to him at all or just say he you wanted hello. a picture? He was doing another show. Why was it? Why didn't we talk to him then, I wonder? Um, I he don't wonders. know. I, I oh. honestly don't remember why. Hmm. He might have come in too late. When is uh, Games of Thrones is, in um, March? Uh, starting up? March? 31st. March. Is it March Mites. of Thrones? Hello, mates. Um, Game of Thrones is coming out real soon. Oh. You're in his seat. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, in, Tom, Ma I'm the... in Mama. So nice to I'm meet in a, you. I'm in a new horror movie. You, <laughs> you guys into it? Game of Drones. Sam, get me a Diablo no sandwich and a Dr. Pepper. <laughs> oh, make it snappy. He's in a goddamn hurry. Yeah, exactly. Yoo-hoo, Sheriff. <laughs> E-Rock comes out with toilet paper. Nice ass. <laughs> nice ass. Thank you, nice lady. Yeah. Sheriff! Oh, Sheriff! <laughs> There's yeah, no one in the hallway. There's no one out there. Yeah. What, uh, what's it rolling there's line? There's no one at the check-in. Is this them? We're going to uh, wind up going into um, Sam's after oh, show no. time. Oh, and no. I don't like doing that. Yeah. Because, no, well, the uh, audience appreciates it. How else would we have gotten into the whole Sal thing today? Cause... If not for... the what, What's that, Iraq? I think the uh, people who are left for Martha are just walking into the studio now. Oh, and there's signs all over that studio that says future home of the Opie and Anthony show. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we put uh, those uh, signs all over that studio. Is so now they're going to go over there and be... No, see, what we want to do is knock down this wall and uh. take up both studios and have a giant studio for you us. You should. It'll match never happen. dicks. Yeah, <laughs> a giant yeah, dicks. Broken down. Oh. Yeah. You could add <laughs> more guests. It would help the show. Uh, we could get a live audience you in here You could have music if you want. Make love right? to each other in a bigger space. Yes. <laughs> it would be fantastic. That would, you deserve it. We do deserve it, but we're not going to get it. But we, anyway, we put signs up all over that said future home of the Opie and Anthony show. Nice. So now the people go in there and they get very upset with uh, us. That and there's a picture. Of, in. There's a cartoon picture of Jim flipping the bird. Flipping the bird <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> fuck you. We're taking your studio. Where's Martha going? Uh, Martha is Dunsky here is at really? Sirius XM Satellite Radio. Oh, Take Love your her. fucking, uh, your souffle, hey. take your towels, what? and take your felonous ass yeah. out of here, you stock fucking, <laughs> you inside info motherfucker. Get your fucking, get your fucking souffle box. <laughs> it was shine box. I, I know, Jimmy. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was too intellectual, motherfucking. That was a little intellectual. I'll give you Martha's that one. Martha's done. Mm -hmm. So, uh. I like her. Do you, yeah. you ever yeah. worried you're really going to slip and maybe a sword goes into somebody? Comment. Yeah, we're... Uh, uh, yes. We're, we, we, do right lot, we do a lot of training. We train a lot for the game. Of What's that? We use the hero sword when we're doing shots where we're not endangering anyone. And then for the stunts, we use a soft sword. <laughs> <laughs> I love Australians. He's Australian. <laughs> they get the, I don't think it's he good. is either. It's What's really good. They always go up at the end, <laughs> like to talk like this. Rowan's uh, blaming the elevators. Remember, out uh. on a boat, <laughs> and a shark came up. You don't believe this? It was right up. off the reef, came into the boat, didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently uh, he's coming back now. What? Rowan said, damn elevators, they're stopping at every stop. They'll do that. Yeah, that was elevators. I bet he was stopping Never. being like King Arthur. I don't know. I fucked up. Wow. Hey, elevators, you know, get your ups and downs. Yeah. Yeah, you Am sure I right? do. From your lips to God's ears. I don't know nothing about this Game of Thrones. You guys take care of this one. What do I know? Game of Thrones. I don't have time for games. I got to feed the wife and kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's stupid regular hey, Joe. That? Hey, what's that? You going to run around like a big bunch of crowns on your heads? That's your business. I'm working. Doesn't understand the show or yeah. any fun or uh, anything. I couldn't make no heads and tails out of it. You get me the Rockford Files. All that nudity. Uh, <laughs> the Rockford Files. Good episode of Canon. Yeah. Violence and nudity. That's what I like. Yeah, I don't know what this guy is. You want to make pretend? You do so on your own time. Make pretend. <laughs> God, is this a good-looking <laughs> motherfucker? Time. Come on, I'm just here. I've been here every Jesus. day. You should I know, that. Jimmy. <laughs> Come on in. Take a like seat, on your own sir. Time. You. Take a seat. Look at this. A goddamn real star, Jimmy how Norton. Are you? Real star. star. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Sir, we're on the air. How you doing? Yeah, we're on the air. We we just hey, we let it fly, as him. they say. Is the J Tom silent? Papa? Tom Papa. You might recognize him from such movies as. Uh, that one Liberace. with the friggin' uh, the guy 
where uh, the informant. he uh, had the informant. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that yeah. guy. Yeah. Uh, that was a very good acting job by you. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that guy. Know. That's, oh, um, yeah. <laughs> now, your movie, sir. Yeah. Uh, I've seen the uh, trailers for this and stuff. I haven't seen the movie yet. Nope. I want to try to get a screener, but I want to do it legally. <laughs> uh, looks very frightening. This is one of these movies where things... I don't like when things move like they don't move in nature. No. Why yeah, is that yeah, scary? But it is. It is, and then kids moving weird. You don't want that. Like kids, kids in scary movies. Sure. It, I don't know. It freaks me out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. exactly. All the way when you think back to like The Shining. Oh, The Shining. Things the, like that with those twins. It's funny, isn't it? Because I, I love The Shining. I watch it again right. and again. But every time it's just a horrible experience. Because you just say, I know they're going to cut you to the twins. You know they're cutting. They're going to cut to the twins. <laughs> and that's scary. <laughs> they're messing me up. Something. And they're probably adorable in real us. life. But you surround anybody with blood and an axe. And it just gets, it looks really frightening. <laughs> yeah, they try to burn it down. <laughs> but in real yeah. life, they were probably adorable little kids. Yeah, and yeah. Cute maybe little not, dresses. Maybe not. Maybe, no, maybe, maybe, not. <laughs> maybe yeah. not. What's yeah. the gist of the movie? Like, like I'm, I'm getting well, that this. the gist is you have these, uh, these, um. Well, it opens up with this guy who's, it's like, well, you know, you read about these stories in the paper, a guy loses it and he kills his family and, you know, mm. that's how it starts. And he takes off with his two kids and they disappear. Then you cut to five to present day, this is five years ago, and his brother, his twin brother, Luke, has been searching for him. And then they find, miraculously, they find these two girls that have been living in this cabin. They, sur you know, they survived. And... Um, and then he takes them in with his girlfriend. She doesn't want to, but he like persuades her. He, he's also guilt ridden because his brother did what he did. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, the the girls are traumatized, and they they bring something with them. There's a reason they survived. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, you could kind of kind of get yeah. from the name of the movie, Mama, Mama yeah. right. that there is something overprotective mother that yeah. raised these kids and, and protected them, and yeah, uh, right. probably wants to continue protecting them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks very, very scary. That's it. Have you done horror movies in the in the past? No, no, no. Not like this. Yeah. No. Was it uh, any any difference between? No, not uh, really. No. No, you just get out there and you just yeah. No. Does it really take away from it though that you're you're seeing how it's well, done? I'm I'm you know I'm pathetic that way. I, when I watch I, like like The Shining or even our movie, I, it still scares me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, yeah. It goes back. Go back to being a little kid. I just hear the music going boom, 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 and I go, and you oh know my it's, god, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here it comes. I am a little fucking pussy when it comes to scary movies. Well, I'm just <laughs> what scared um, me so much when I saw it recently, I actually had to turn it off. Uh, Stupid DeRosa recommended it. It was, uh, <laughs> it's about the little kid and he yeah, sees... we all know Stupid DeRosa. <laughs> yeah, Joe DeRosa. Hey, Stupid DeRosa. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but you said his name right. <laughs> but the, uh, it, it's, the, it's the kid who kind of goes into a coma. They think he's in a coma. But he's not. Uh, his he has just gone away internally. Do you know that? Uh, no one knows that movie. Oh yeah. boy, Jimmy. it was fucking frightening. And I watched really? it on Netflix, and I'm like, ah, I gotta get up tomorrow. You know, me, it was a Sunday. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> you didn't want to. I, I turned it off wow. to watch it the next day. It bothered me so much. I had to turn wow, it off. I really? wish I could remember the name of that. You yeah, are it, it a affected little, me. Little stupid Derosa. It scared me. <laughs> it was a frightening. Damn movie. that stupid Derosa. <laughs> but then during the day, when you're on your computer, you're like, oh, this is. Not frightening at all. You know, I manned up a little bit. There is just <laughs> <laughs> there is some primal thing that happens at night. Why like, is it? Why is it that we want to go see the, these movies? Why yes, because I don't like understand. The fear. To like get to be, scared. Yeah. And and and, and, and it, like I said, at oh, night and you get this. Why do you want to get scared? I don't know. <laughs> it's fun to have an emotion pulled out of you. To have something pulled it? out of you is is nice. Yeah, yeah, I think better so. than that b basketball trophy. <laughs> See, Jim, I'm implying I know, what I you it. did. <laughs> that's, oh god, that's wrong. yeah, that's terrible. I don't know, but we Does we the... do like that that well well sad movies. You know, it pulls out the comedies, the, the sad thing, comedy, and I guess that's just another way of kind of living vicariously through the the screen no, and but getting when I watch scared. It, I feel sick. I actually yeah. sit there and go, oh, why am I doing this? Why am this? I doing this to myself? Right. And of yeah. course, then you leave and you're like, oh, you're so relieved. But then you go, oh, no, I'm going to have dreams about this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to like look out the window it's and like it's going to be dark uh, now. That eternal fear of, of dying and then you sit there and you go through that whole thing. But, you know, deep down, you know, I'm still safe. I'm still here. I'm still just safe. I have my pop. <laughs> yeah. Good. A soda. Just a movie. <laughs> it's like looking at an accident you're I not in. It. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. nice to see. Oh, yeah. You get that visceral kind of feeling from it. Twisted and wrong. Yeah. You, went, you went there to traffic accidents. I know. But you right? know what I mean? We all look at it for that really weird reason. There's something in nature which no, makes you, don't, you look. Don't include me. You know? yeah. It's you know, like looking at the dead like... hooker in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Right? Am I right, guys? You with me? Yeah. Hey, look. 
Well, she shouldn't have backed up into the coat hanger. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Ah, what are you going to... But we all look at it. They said in nature, it is a really weird thing. When you see somebody in distress, you look at it because it's, it, you're, you're trying to process how to avoid that. Like, mm. you're, you're, that's why in nature, it's not just yeah. voyeurism. Like, we want to know how do we avoid Ugh. that horrible thing happening. I don't right. like thinking that deeply into it. I just like either getting petrified or... You I'm know, not just telling you. Laughing at a movie. Yeah. I'm a simple man, Jim. Are, Are you, you scared, scared by up? like slasher stuff though? Like... No, the the gore stuff doesn't do it, but the the suspense. No, that's annoying. The... That gets a little annoying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But the thing is, once you invest in the characters, mm -hmm. then oh, it's just horrible because you know, yeah, just don't go in there. Just... Yeah, what are you doing? I <laughs> kind of those uh... kids. They're horrible. Don't take them in. <laughs> don't take them in. What are you saying? <laughs> to your girlfriend, you don't need this in your life. <laughs> and the girlfriend was trying to like, oh, what are you doing? We don't. Yeah, need well, these that's kids like, yeah. Here. She was like, don't do oh, that. Man. We have a great life. What are you doing? Oh. They're messed up. <laughs> oh. Did you shoot it in a spooky place? Toronto, yeah. That's spooky. <laughs> the spookiness of Toronto. Yes. Spookiness yes. Of Toronto. yes. They're up in the CN Tower. Yeah. <laughs> was it supposed to be another city? Uh, yeah. Uh, like was, how Toronto was, is never Toronto, Toronto in movies. Was, it, was, it was in Ascent in America, yeah. Poor Toronto yeah, is yeah. like, hey, we get a lot of movies made here. It's great. Yeah, we're not going to call it Toronto. <laughs> we're not going to call it Pittsburgh. Toronto. We're not going to call it. Yeah, yeah, we're going to call it anything but Toronto. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think Pittsburgh, they have to call it Pittsburgh because, like, Jack Reacher was in Pittsburgh and there was another one that was because they get big tax breaks for shooting movies there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. So Pittsburgh is smart, but they always say they're in Pittsburgh. That's probably in their contract. You have to mention <laughs> really? that you're in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Silly. Oh, yeah. When's Game of Thrones come back? Oh, man. Uh, March 31st. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Were you, uh, were you surprised at how it took off and really got popular? No, of course, yeah. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, I was excited when I read the script, but part of me also went, how the hell are they going to shoot this? Yeah, right? Man, it's epic. Yeah. insane. Yeah, huge. But they, they pulled it off. They're really clever guys. It really is amazing how big uh, the yeah, production like is. Yeah. And, and you look at it and go, I don't know how they can afford to make this. No. It's... They, they must not pay you a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what ah, sunk, uh, I think Rome cost a lot of money. It was either Rome or Rome. Rome. It was Rome. Rome was two yeah. seasons. That cost so yeah, much, it. and it was a great show, but they, they, but this is a much bigger show. Game of Thrones is a good show. Yeah. It's like, uh, you, you hear, it's nice to hear people talking about a show again, like you overhear conversations about yeah. it. That's how you know a show is going to be around for a while. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and uh, Do you like playing a villain more than a good guy? I, mean, I imagine that'd be more fun. Well, I, you know, I, well, you think of Jamie Lannister. I don't even think of him as, as a villain. He's a good guy. <laughs> I yeah. heard one kiss. Yes. He's a better brother than I am. I'm <laughs> not <laughs> <laughs> oh, even going to go there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it took you in. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah. Okay, now I got the, the whole gist of it. Right. Uh, now you're okay, settling yeah. in, realizing what the hell you got yourself Slowly into. Slowly moving his chair away from Jimmy. <laughs> but, uh, but he is, I mean, he's a survivor. And, uh, no, you but know, the funny thing is, if you think about it, I mean, I know, you know, he's, he's banging his his sister and it is <laughs> twisted but actually he's it, it is the only you know he actually he loves this girl mm. yes and that's the only if you like in a way true love on the show everyone else <laughs> is arranged marriages and it's like been put together for yeah. political reasons he actually wants to be with this girl and of course it's a mess yeah the, um, yeah yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah. And he does some horrible things. He, yeah, he's, he's not a good guy, but I don't think he's a bad guy. Yeah. Really? Pushing the kid out the window. Uh, there was a great moment, too, in oh, last season yeah. when you had that, and you were in the cage, oh, and my the guy God. wants to help you. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can <laughs> help <cousin>. me. <laughs> yeah. You don't give, wow, away, you don't give away that anything bad's going to happen. It's so great the way you, the way you play writing. that. It's the good movie, writing. yeah, the movie, the, the <laughs> show itself does that where it, you won't expect things, and yeah. things happen. You're like, what? Yeah. They can't have just done that. How are they going to undo that? <laughs> right. It's uh, the writing's amazing. The characters yeah. Yeah, are no. great. There's no no character that's uh, one dimensional. No. I mean, they all have that. Fuck, we were just talking about Joffrey, that little fucking prick. <laughs> <Is that laughs> what a hateable, the most hateable, yeah. the most hateable Isn't character. That funny, oh. that, like the great. Jack who plays him, this Irish kid. I mean, you're not going to believe he studies theology at Trinity College in, in, in Dublin. He's in the yeah. top 1%. He's the sweetest, wow. gentlest man. And yeah. then he gets in front of the camera, he just turns into this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he yes. is a little, because he's like every teenager you hate. I know. He's with like, yeah. power. Yeah. Oh. With power. Exactly. Yeah, with power. Oh. And he's a fraidy cat, too. He wants to go sit with his mother in the quarters while the yeah. big fight is. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Get out there, get the little fella uh, leading the fucking troops. <laughs> How much of the uh, other storylines do you know about?
about when you're filming, or do they keep you pretty much on? No, your own? I know, I know everything. Yeah. Oh, you do. You, okay. You get the full scripts. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Right. That's yeah. pretty. That's we, pretty we, good. We've done. We you know we open end of March, but you, but we have two days next week that we have to shoot in L.A. because there's this one one scene with one character that just like, I can't leave the state. So we have we hold the whole circus is coming to. Oh, one oh, yeah. character cannot leave the state. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Is it a legal <laughs> issue? I can't tell you. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's a little... Uh, That's you know. nice to know. Can't, can't leave the state. All right. Shooting in California. I'm Look for Charles Manson in the <laughs> next season. <laughs> you guessed it. I can't <laughs> believe you guessed it. <laughs> they're going to have to explain why this character in Game of Thrones has an ankle bracelet. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> it's the, a uh... new piece of armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, wow. It, that's... Uh, it's an odd, interesting So you're in the middle role. of filming it now? Well, well, next week, yeah. We, we yeah. wrapped in November, mm. but oh. now we just come back for this for these two days. Oh, mm. so what happens? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how does it end? <laughs> he could say it. I would still be confused. Of, I really need that I HBO app just to follow. It is introducing confusing, another yeah. land and another guy. Another well, character. You know, you know what's this? great about in the day and age we live in, the wondrous uh, day and age we live in, <laughs> when it starts up again, you know when it's starting up, so a few weeks prior, mm. you can just do oh, the true. marathon load yeah. in those uh, discs or you know Refresh. go online and just watch all of them again and uh, it's that shows fantastic, how good it is man. though that you would actually want to yes. study it before you, you want to know again. before the new ones come up I'm going to go through this the, the HBO app is amazing I'm going to watch the seasons one and two again before three even though yeah. I've seen them but it's like you know that app you, is pretty amazing and then you can like click on yeah the, on this, the different castles and then it comes up with really? all this backstory it. oh it's intense oh, yeah it's so really much good backstory it's what the is best it opening with... music I think it's the best that opening a sequence yeah. on, on TV. It's unbelievable. There's nothing worse than a shitty opening theme song. <laughs> so you can just yeah. dread it. Like, uh, Come right and knock on our door. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> It'll happen for you. <laughs> <laughs> HBO just knows how to do original programming. It's amazing. Uh, like, yeah. like you were talking about uh, like Showtime. It just seems like the second level yeah. original programming. Yeah. HBO has just had so many great shows. It's amazing uh, to watch. Yeah, I mean, and and uh, people wait for it. And even though you could DVR shows and stuff like that, you don't want to do it because there's assholes all over Twitter that <laughs> spoil it for you. So you'll sit down and watch these shows when they first run like yeah. that. Yeah, or you get off Twitter. Well, right. come on now, let's be real. Let's let's be real. <laughs> Are we allowed to? We can we do that? <laughs> that's where my life is. My life exists on Twitter. Don't you feel? Are like you I'm on? Uh, Are you on Twitter? No. No. no what the hell's the matter with this new stuff? <laughs> <laughs> you damn kids. He doesn't need Twitter. He's like a handsome actor with a great career. Why would he need to just go on and tell people they suck? <laughs> to right. tell everyone that you're handsome and have a career. That's what I do. Jesus. <laughs> just post pictures of other but, people. Get, you have a Twitter account. Yeah. Just read out your last five tweets. All right. <laughs> Let's hear it. That's a good one. Okay. Good idea. Let's see how important Every I time I'm on Twitter, today. I'm like, how much longer do you have to do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, when's, what's the end game right. here? When does what's the stop? Twitter end game? Damn it. <laughs> All right. Was damn it one? Here or? we <laughs> go. Oh, my God. 19 hours ago. Oh my! It to update. There it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, one's directed to me. Uh, let's see, <laughs> Anthony. Hey guys, your boy Alex Jones versus Piers Morgan. Here's the YouTube link. We played it on the show already today. Thank you for not listening right. to the program. That's kind of useful. Uh, linking up a yeah, something that we've already done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, uh, if Steven Singer has limited quantities and he runs out selling like hotcakes, why the fuck do we have to hear the commercials every day? <laughs> One of our sponsors is uh, clamoring about how you got to order early because right. he sells out, and he's saying, "Why then advertise?" <laughs> but those are tweets to you. How about that's the ones you sent out? You're the last. Your tweets. The one sent out oh to you. Oh, my! The one you, you make. Like, yeah. for instance, oh, and, you. And, and just All one. right. I sent one out 23 hours ago. My cabbie's breath stinks so badly, I can smell it in the back seat. And then uh. hashtag raging hard on. Uh, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> Poetry. Uh, let's see. Raging hard on. I, I guess, um, wait, wait, here we go. Um, somebody tweeted January 4th, 2013, Marty McFly travels, uh, in, in, back in time, uh, 20 years. Uh, and I said, ugh, anyone tweeting this horse shit to me will be blocked <laughs> because it's an inaccurate back to the Is future. Is there anything date. worse than when someone says, read your last five tweets and they're not, they're not good <laughs> ones. Like, <laughs> they just, you, you, you just feel like, oh, you can, uh, I said the last five and you go. Oh, I've got a great one, 2011. Oh, yeah. my, last, my, last, my last one was, LOL, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Right, here's one. I'm responding to somebody who said, uh, called me a dirty fucking racist wop. 
Uh, I hope you die, you faggot, for the shit you said about black women. I don't know. I said you should hear what I say off the air. This is what I got to deal with on a daily basis. Yes, his um, parents tweeting him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I posted the Evil Dead trailer, which is very frightening. You're right. I really have no business being on any kind of social networking platform. Yes, all you do is spew disinformation. <laughs> right. But also, clearly, you get a lot of abuse. A lot of You're abuse. You're right. Why even, why bother with that? You know, I don't know. <laughs> but now you're right, and I'm angry. It's really true. Like, because I follow you, and the stuff you deal with every oh, day is it's pretty intense. Crazy. It's like constant. Why okay, do that's I want to do that? a whole different question. Yes. Then, who do you follow, and why? Oh, I like following. And what does that give? Oh, yeah, comedians. Mm. Comedians are, pretty good to yeah, follow. Yeah, funny and coming up with good lines. Hot girls. Because sometimes they say dirty things. I don't follow hot girls. <laughs> no, I mean, no. no. Did you see no. that game last night? There was a football game. Yes, where they and they're cutting to that gorgeous, gorgeous that girl. Is the quarterback's girlfriend. And then apparently her Twitter account went from five Blew to a thousand. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just we went talked crazy. About her this morning. She's very but pretty. It, but why is it then you decide to follow her? It's like she's <laughs> hot, and I might. Yeah, what get is, some you're right. Of that. Why? She might rub up on me because I follow her on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. She looks really smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I bet she tweets some funny things. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, which is a wear. chance to contact. Like if she'll write something, you can write back, yeah, and hope she'll like go, Oh, thanks. <laughs> we we are in a day Silly. and age, we talked about this in the past, where celebrities are accessible now through things like Twitter oh, yeah. and Facebook and right. stuff. And in the old days we talked about how, you know, what would it take to have written to Clark Gable? You had to write a letter, send it, yeah. hope that it yeah. didn't go through the manager and agents and publicity people and actually get to him. Ah, well, let me right. answer Wasn't this there gentleman. A, movie back. a couple of years ago, uh, my date with Drew Barrymore. Yeah, the guy was, was about that was about this guy trying trying to get, to get uh, contact then, her. Yeah, yeah like, and, and get get a did. date with her, and he finally does. That's today he could just have gone. Yeah, and 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 you you actually have a connection for some reason with celebrities, and but I'm do finding any of those celebrities. Even touch their account themselves. Right. Y do you, they have? Don't they? Very some strange. Do. Some do. Some are very into it. Where it's like, why are you even responding? Yeah. Uh, others, um, I guess they have their people do it, but uh, mm -hmm. you can usually it's tell. Odd thing. You can I usually guess, you can tell. Oh, I'm just drinking the greatest coffee from. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, You know, okay. <laughs> Driving my Jag. Yeah, or if they tweet <laughs> the God, same thing. Fuji water tastes delicious. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, you can kind of tell when it's yeah. some stupid uh, PR person doing it for yeah. you. Some, some yeah. people actually do make money of it, right? Yeah. Do you make money of it? Uh, on Twitter, mm. not a dime. <laughs> it's <laughs> just, I've been uh, offered, but the, the yeah. thing is, I would have had to tweet, my followers would have murdered me for it. It wasn't yeah. enough money to make the oh. backlash worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, they, I don't have enough followers to make it so worth it. What would it, it be? Oh, right. like, like, oh, yeah, just, what? Just what product thinking? placement stuff. Like, oh, yeah. And they would kill me for that. Right. They'd kill, unless I was really... Smart. Yeah, I can't do it. I like love condom this ads. Soda. They'd be like, Who'd Jimmy doesn't it? use those. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> those Wait, pesky things. Yeah, I could say these are really helpful, allegedly. <laughs> I, I've heard. Yes, I've heard these Friends are good. have told me these yes. things work. Yes, according to people with healthy lifestyles and self esteem. <laughs> This is good. this is good for you, but yeah, nobody would nobody would believe it. Uh, Can I ask you? This is a, a corny question, but how did you? What was the audition process you went through for this for Game of Thrones? Was it just you heard about it went or did no, they no? No, I, I I well I I met um, David Benioff and Dan Weiss, uh, the, the two writers. They told me about the story, and then I I went on tape, and that was it. And you got it from tape? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is to land something from tape? Jesus. When you look like us. That's a good, <laughs> that's a good you point. You do have that look, though. That's pretty cool with, you know, the, know. the hair and the beard. You kind of do look <laughs> like you, you could, you know, be back then there in that magical time. Yeah. Well, you, in 2011, Buddy TV ranked you as the 85th sexiest man alive. 85th? That's 85th. true. Yes. Do you know that? No. Oh, I was hoping you knew because I was going to ask who beat you. I was wondering, like, Whoa, who was the person? Guys. Yeah, who was the, who was the one guy <laughs> in front of you? Can we look that up, Sam? Who who beat? It was what? the eighty fifth. Oh, okay. That's can we look at oh, who man. beat Jamie and uh, no, I mean that's Jamie? Okay. There's, there's quite a few. I can I can think of a few. I just called you Jamie. <laughs> I could think. I oh, that. Jimmy. I did. I called him by his character name. It's terrible. How awful is that? Do you get that on the street? People, hey, Jamie. Kingsley! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, they don't even know. They don't even know the character names. No, they do. No, they do. They well, do. there's a hardcore following from the books, right? I mean, it's like no, it's <laughs> a great. heavy nerd culture part of it. Yeah, but you know, I, I really 
like it because people are so passionate about these. Yeah. They really they are, man. The characters, Intense. so there's no. Yes. I was, I mean, in the beginning, I guess I was a little worried if people were going to feel about me like they do about Joffrey, but uh, <laughs> really, they actually <laughs> seem to like Jamie. Yeah, you went to Comic Con that. with it and all that? I went the first year. Yeah. Last year we were working, but uh, you no, know, it was actually a great experience because, you know, it's a lot of passion. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm sure it's they crazy, love it. But it's, uh, it's yeah. a lot of Grown ups dressed up in <laughs> funny outfits. Yes. They're dressing for free like you do for a lot of money. <laughs> and uh, the movie, um, uh, Mama, um, yes. Mama. 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 And uh, Mama. it's in studio, uh, in studio. When is the it 18th. in theaters? January the 18th. Yeah. And obviously, Game of Thrones, or, or according to the moron that made up our sheet, Games of Thrones. Oh, God. <laughs> Idiot <laughs> Sal. Uh, starts March 31st. But uh, Mom is the big one that. Um, it's going to be is, is, Am I pronouncing your name right? Is, it, uh, is the J silent? It's like an I, yeah. Okay, so it is Nikolai. Yeah. Okay, I thought so, but I didn't want to say it wrong. I <laughs> humiliate myself. No, I mean, man. every American will say Nikolaj. They will? Nicolaj. Oh, that's crazy. I kind of sense that it wasn't. I'm like, I couldn't be getting that right so easily. No, it's kind of a, <laughs> it's it's kind of an H E sound, Nikolai. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nikolai Costa Waldo, I'm saying it yeah, right? Perfect. Okay, the last name I worked on, the first one, I'm like, just fucking ask. Very good. <laughs> All right. Then so, call him Jamie. When you go on tape or something, do you light it? Are you like, asking professionally? me? Oh. No, I, I <laughs> usually I have my wife bring the camera over and then we shoot it. And then wow, that's, that's Oh, you do it at home? Good. Yeah, I'm in Denmark. I live in Denmark. Oh, uh, really? I travel for an edition, unless... Nah. Are you embarrassed wow. to act so in front great. of your wife? Like I would be embarrassed to not, and even if I like, be embarrassed to act in front of anyone. I know, too. I know. <laughs> but I mean, it's somebody who knows you to all of a sudden be a different person. Is that hard for you in a room? Like it's intimate. It's just you and her with the camera. No, I know it's good. You're comfortable with no, that? I like that because you know I know her well, and she's got good taste. Mm. So it's, sometimes I find it more difficult. You go into a room and you meet a, you know, a casting director you've never met, and it's. Suddenly you have to break down and it's like a little mm. uncomfortable. You talk yeah. a little bit first and all of a sudden. Yeah, because <clears> that's <throat> the problem. I used to hate that going in, you know, the small talk where you just yeah, go, hey, uh, so how are you doing? And then, and then you got to go okay, into. Okay, let's do it. And then you're supposed to turn into this <clears throat> evil something. <laughs> right. You just Ooh, talk yeah. about your kids and then you're. Uh, <laughs> what, was right. the scene you, what was the scene you put on tape? The scene was in episode one where I come to see, I have to, I'm come to pick up uh, my brother. He's in a brothel. Mm. Uh, that was the scene. Okay. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I think there was. Uh, I can't remember. But that was the scene. So you do it from. You created your whole career from Denmark. That's where. Yeah. That's pretty great. We yeah. have to wrap up, Tom. Oh, damn please. It. This was Tom. Tom. I know it. It's interesting. Tom. Yes. You're a great actor, and uh, I, I love, love, love what you do and what you're in. Yeah. Thanks and, so uh, much for coming in. I'm gonna see Mama. Cool. I didn't cool even know you were in it. Uh, I really had no idea. So it looks it's scary. A movie that's as horrifying hell, looking. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah good. And I do want to see it. Comes out January the 18th. And I guess we're done, too. Very cool. Uh, we'll see everybody tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Uh, thank you. Bye.